Uh, back when Lois was becoming a chef back at Pika, Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts, uh, she found out this awesome place. And uh, it was sort of a secret back then, but now we've been coming here ever since. Uh, we're at the, uh, the Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, uh, this place called uh, Falls Creek Seafood, right? And we sell everything uh, from organic ocean seafood. You can tell, like, it's a place that is hard to find. Yes. So it's not many people know about it. Right. But we are here Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and we're here to help you out. Awesome. Yeah. Put it there. There you go. <laughs> Just like Daddy. Mm -hmm. You look like Daddy here. Look at the car. It's too heavy. Let's take it to the car. Bye-bye. Tina, ready? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ready? Ready. Ready. All right, let's go. All right, we're heading down to the Granville uh, Fish Market. We're going to go get some food. Mommy's here. Tina? And we're off. We're gonna head out. All right. All right. So we're here. Uh, back when Lewis was being coming a chef back at Pika Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts. Uh, she found out this awesome place and uh, it was sort of a secret back then, but now we've been coming here ever since. I think for a few years now. And, uh, ocean organic stuff. It's totally awesome. Check it out. And these guys give probably the freshest fish around um, for probably the best prices too. So if you're in Vancouver, you can come down to Granville Island, which is beautiful. You guys gotta come and check it out. Look at this view. Typical Vancouver weather, nice and white. They made it into a nice storefront. It looks pretty sweet. You gotta wash in here, some books for you to read. And uh, we're gonna go get some fish. So stay tuned. We got this box, nice and reusable, being eco-friendly. It uh, keeps the fish nice and cool until we get home, so we're gonna have some fun over here in Gravel Island before we uh, head back. Ready? Ready? sockeye available. So this is the only one in Vancouver available right now? Right now, the only one. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, we, are, we are like um, a couple weeks for like getting a new piece. 
So how long have you guys been here for? Uh, organic Ocean, like yeah. 10 years. 10 years. Yeah, but we moved all operations to Steveston. So we just keep uh, keeping the retail size uh, here. Oh. Uh, our side of the business here. Yeah. But all operations uh, in Steveston. Oh, nice. Yeah. And we supply like uh, 150 restaurants in Canada. Awesome. We ship to all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. To Israel. I saw him one day and he was going to the royal family. <laughs> to the royal family? Yeah. That's and pretty they, cool. They supply a lot of the embassies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like embassies like, uh, like uh, Ottawa. Every, go probably somewhere. every month we send uh, a fish to Ottawa that, is go, that goes to like politicians. And, uh, is that right? Like, that, like, it's just crazy. That's yeah. pretty cool. I saw some going to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Saudi Arabia too. Like, like we supply the fermons, right? Like, yeah. Uh, everywhere. So uh, there's people like, from Saudi Arabia, they stay there. And they, they love the fish and they ask the shit where they get it from and then they, they come and buy it. They, and they actually, sometimes we have to offload on the loading base, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, um, not even in the loading base actually, like in special areas yeah. where like nobody see what you're doing. Oh, right? so I see. They come down and you meet the, the person, they yeah. pay you or whatever, huh. but you don't do it through the front door or like regular loading base. Yeah, it's right. just, it's just weird. So what are they ordering normally? Like salmon, sockeye? Everything. Salmon, sable fish. They love the sable fish. Oh, is that right? And the sable fish is... And, and the sable cheeks yeah. uh, is a delicacy. Yeah. It sells for a fortune. Yeah. Huh. And rock cod cheeks, it's... Yeah. Oh, you know what I have? I, and you have to take it. I'll give you some. All right, cool. Uh, the collars. Ooh, the collars? Yeah, you're going to give me some collars. They got some collars. This is pretty yeah. cool. We're learning a lot over here. Yeah, new, new thing, no, not, not new. I mean, we have lots of collars, but I never thought on on offering to people. And well, well, last week, I had some. I, I just baked them. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, so good. So, good. Is that so, right? so 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 good. So what's your name? Carlos. Carlos. And how long have you been doing this for, Carlos? Oh, around ten years. Ten years. Ten years. And are you yeah. a fisherman yourself? I'm a fisherman myself. Awesome. And so where do you normally go? Where's your favorite spots to go? Uh, I love going to the Queen Charlotte's up north. Yeah. But uh, I really enjoy fishing on the Straits, Johnson right. Strait for chum salmon in the fall. Right. Uh, it's rainy. It's a little colder, but yeah. it's like easy. Those are like easy days, right? You yeah. woke up in the morning, six in the morning, uh, sun, com sun comes down around like 6 p.m. and yeah. you're done, right? Okay. Uh, when you go up north, it's like really, really, really long hours. Right? Cool. And so you, sometimes you work 16 hours, right? Yeah. Because the uh, uh, sun comes out then. Four in the morning, yeah, and uh, uh, and it's dark at probably 11 p.m. So right. you only have like five hours to. Oh my gosh! But it's, so, it's it's fun. It's cool. What are you catching down there? Uh, right now, actually, we're uploading a boat on Monday with spring salmon. Spring salmon. Spring salmon and coho salmon. Yeah, big, big, big ones. Yeah, big ones. Uh, oh. Last week I sent uh, two fish to PEI. Uh, fish was like for the two fish, it's like 65 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. 65 pounds for two fish. That's huge. Yeah. Awesome, man. Take care. Thank All right, you take care. All right, Bye. cheers. Bye, sweetie. Bye. She goes, I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> take care. Bye bye. See ya. We got 85. This yeah, this yeah. is really good, though. Look at this monster. 118. All right, let's do it. And we're good to go. So how long does the ice last? Like how long can we stay out before we go home and have to put like it back these? Oh, like probably like five hours, no problem. Five hours. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. Nice. So we got five hours till we have to go home. This is gonna be pretty sweet. Are you ready to eat some fish? Yes, Miss Papa. Yes, ready. Papa, oh. yes. Alright, so we got some fish, about a hundred bucks. They're huge. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna make some stock. We make some sable fish. We're gonna fry it up for my daughter over here. She loves that stuff and it's awesome healthy fats that she can actually eat because this little one over here has a pretty developed palate. She doesn't eat just anything and she loves birds as you can see. It's pretty awesome here, you know. I 
can't imagine how better to spend a day outside. Cloudy, but uh, not raining nonetheless. This place spot over here, right there, that is an awesome fish and chips place. You guys gotta check that out if you come out here. And we got all these boats. What a scene. I mean, come on. We're in Vancouver. How can you spend any time inside, especially when it's not raining? There's so much beauty. Look at the water. It's beautiful. All right. Are you ready to go? Ready? Popo! Popo? Tina, ready? Ready, baby? Ready. 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 All right. Time to go get some grub. See you guys later.